God bless everybody tonight. We'll share something with you. We're sort of reading my Bible and the Spirit's jumped out at me and and challenged me and startled me and and really, really impressed something on me. And I'll, I'll, I'll read it to you. It's Isaiah chapter 24 and I'm going to read the first few verses and it says this. Look, it's got a title over the top of it saying the earth judged. It says, look, the Lord is stripping the earth bare and making it desolate. He will twist its surface and scatter its inhabitants. People and priests alike, servants and master, female servants and mistresses, buyer and seller, lender and borrower, creditor and debtor. The earth will be stripped completely bare and will be totally plundered for the Lord has spoken this message. You know, I just want to say tonight, you think it's hard now. You think it's rough now with a virus and some lockdown and finance troubles and sickness and illness. We think it's hard now. We think this world is horrible now. We think this earth is hard now. But there's a time coming. There's a time coming, like it talks about there, when the earth will come under judgment. Its inhabitants will come under judgment. There will be terrible, terrible times. It's known as the Great Tribulation. And you know that. We know that. We know what it's talking about. There's terrible, terrible times coming. Hard times coming. We need to be right with God. Friends, brothers, sisters, whoever's watching this, I'm going to send it out on WhatsApp and wherever it may go on YouTube. Whoever is watching this, don't rely on a title. Don't rely on a badge. Don't rely on your works of service. Don't rely on the deeds you've done in the past. Don't rely on who you are, who your family is, what religion you belong to. Don't rely on anything other than total faith in Jesus to rescue from this time of trouble what's coming on the earth. Only those who put total faith and trust in Jesus will be part of the rapture of the church to save you from this time of terrible trouble what's coming on the earth. Please make sure you're right with God tonight. Please let this be a wake-up call. If you read scriptures like that and it sends fear into your heart, if you hear about the great tribulation and what's going to happen and it sends fear into your heart, remember, make sure you're right with Jesus. Not a position, not a title, not because you work in a church, not because you serve God, but because you love him and you totally put faith and trust in Jesus for your salvation. Now, some people may look at this and you may be getting upset with me and saying, who do you think you are, never telling me that? Who do you think you are telling me I need to be right with God? I know Jesus. If you know Jesus and you are saved, praise God for that. Then this is not talking to you. But make sure that you are saved. Make sure you're putting total faith and trust in Jesus. Make sure you haven't let nothing else overtake your faith in Jesus. God bless. He loves you. He don't want you to go through these times of troubles. Make sure you're right with him. God bless.